You've seen the videos of brazen smash and grabs like these, okay. often carried out in broad daylight. It's an absolute threat. An Orange County jewelry store was hit by several suspects. Seen in this video from the Irvine Police Department. They smashed glass displays with hammers and took nearly $900,000 in merchandise. And in Los Angeles, a group of up to 30 suspects ripped apart a Nordstrom store, stealing between $60,000 and $100,000 of goods. Last week, the CEO of Nordstrom said the company's losses from theft are at historical highs. Retailers like Macy's and Dick's Sporting Goods joined Nordstrom in blaming theft and inventory loss for falling short of their projected sales figures. Federal authorities and retailers are now sounding the alarm about the growing danger of organized retail crime that authorities say is sweeping the country. They know exactly what stores to hit, what um, businesses and residents to hit, when and where. Coordinated groups are targeting stores, millions of dollars worth of goods. Retailers say they're growing more violent, putting shoppers and workers at risk, sometimes with tragic consequences. What goes through your mind when you realize that your dad was essentially killed over three power washers? You can't imagine that any piece of equipment in Home Depot is worth a life. When you saw the video of what happened to your dad, what was going through your mind? Wish it would have been me. Authorities say organized retail crime is large-scale theft of mostly high-value items from handbags to power tools, which are often then illegally resold online on sites like Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, or Craigslist. Amazon, eBay, and Facebook prohibit the sale of stolen goods on their sites and have said that they take measures to help ensure that. They're very much organized in the sense that they're doing it for the profit. Obviously, the prof prof profitability is the key here. Companies say this type of crime is reaching unprecedented levels, jumping more than 26% in 2021 and forcing the average family to pay an estimated $500 more each year on goods. It's growing double digit year over year. This is professional shoplifting. 100%. Big box stores like the Home Depot have been hit especially hard. They tell us they're investigating hundreds of cases this past year alone and losing billions. The retail giant opening up to ABC News showing us exactly what's being targeted. You have a special name for this part of the store. Yeah, this is our, this is what we refer to our billion dollar aisles, billions and billions of dollars worth of sales in this product. And then about a third of our uh, losses from a theft and frauds perspective come from, you know, power tools particularly. Thieves are taking anything from leaf blowers to metal wire. And how much is a spool like that worth? A full spool can range anywhere from $1,000 to upward of about $3,500. In April, three people were arrested in connection with an organized retail crime operation that allegedly targeted California Home Depots. Authorities recovering $75,000 worth of stolen goods. Why do you believe that you've seen such an uptick? About 90% of our organized retail crime cases involve some type of online selling platform. Opioids and fentanyl continuing to drive the need for fast cash. Just a few weeks ago, authorities in Pinellas County, Florida, arrested former pastor Robert Dell for allegedly running a multi-million dollar theft ring. Felony charges brought against Dell and his alleged co-conspirators accused the group of operating across at least three counties in the Tampa area, targeting Home Depots and then selling those stolen goods on eBay. Authorities confiscated thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from the home during the arrest in mid-August. In some cases, employees fight back. This family-owned jewelry store in Huntington Beach, California says they were targeted by thieves last year. It's our family business. We wanted to protect it. I guess like protecting what's ours. But many larger retailers do not want their employees to intervene. Lululemon recently fired two employees for chasing no. alleged robbers, no. as seen in this video. Get out. Get out. The company saying in a statement the two women were fired for knowingly violating our zero tolerance policy related to physically engaging with the perpetrators, which put their lives and the safety of our guests and other employees at risk. Our people's safety is our number one priority. Home Depot also tells its employees not to stop robberies in progress, warning of the dangers.
it seems almost like a catch-22 that you want to keep your employees safe, but at the end of the day, these criminals probably know that the employees are limited in their capacity There's to stop bit of that, it. But it's, it, the, the safety of our employees and our customers comes first, 100%, and what the consequences financially are, are the secondary consideration for us. Still, two employees have been killed, allegedly by thieves at Home Depot stores. Shots fired at the Home Depot on Johnson Drive in Pleasanton. In April, 26-year-old Blake Mose was fatally shot while authorities say he was trying to stop a theft at a California store. Two people have been charged with felonies in connection with the murder. And in October, police say 82-year-old Gary Razor, nicknamed Grandpa Gary by his Home Depot co-workers, was pushed by an assailant who was allegedly trying to steal three power washers at a Hillsboro, North Carolina location and later died. He loved working at Home Depot because he was invested in the, in the people and the customer, you know, the, the workers. Jeff Razor says he never dreamed his father's job could put him in danger. At his funeral service, we had to have two of them because the entire Home Depot staff and workers from the, you know, manager to the person that just hired in a week ago or wanted to come. So does it surprise you that he would have tried to step in to stop a theft? Oh, it doesn't surprise me at all. It wasn't like he was going to tackle the guy, right? He was just asking for a receipt. In January, police arrested the 26-year-old man they say pushed Gary Razor. He is charged with robbery and first-degree murder. He is being held without bail. What was taken from you? Time. You know, all we have is time. That time <clears throat> that we had planned to, to spend with my dad, that, now that's just not going to be so time. Home Depot says Gary's story is driving urgency to stop the problem but they acknowledge they can't do it alone. There are certain parts of certain states that have taken it very seriously, but there's other pockets of the country where this problem still is not taken seriously day, day in and day out. Do you believe that there should be tougher penalties for those who are behind these crimes? Absolutely. With losses growing, the retail industry and law enforcement are looking for solutions. Congress already passed the INFORM Act, which requires online marketplaces to collect and disclose more information on the goods they sell but retailers want them to do more. And pass the Combating Organized Retail Crime Act, creating coordinated multi-agency response to retail theft. These bills will help to establish a center for organized retail crime under the Department of Homeland Security to share information and to work investigatively to detect, disrupt, and dismantle these organized groups. Home Depot says it has had no choice but to lock up some of its most valued items, a move they say is frustrating but necessary. Is it common that we would see these things behind bars? You know, in a perfect world, this is not what we'd want to be doing. We'd want to be completely open to our customers. But unfortunately, this is the product that is target, targeted most frequently. The company is also working to make more of its products trackable, adding monitors as a deterrent, alarmed gates to prevent carts from leaving, and installing more cameras to keep track of shoppers. But for Gary Razor's family, nothing can undo the loss. His death, a warning that these crimes are destroying lives. What do you want people to hear about your father's story? I would like very much for people to understand that my dad would, would want, right, people to focus on this and say, we've finally gone too far. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.